good afternoon students again i welcome you for uh, moodle class which we will be covering today the uh, factory act that is we will be talking about in the third unit in business law so it, this topic is very interesting actually if you are coming uh, direct to the class no it will be interesting where you can learn many useful things but even in this slide we have given lots of points so even though factories act is one particular topic i have split uh, for uh, two sessions so one session i'll be posting it here and the second session if it is possible we'll have it uh, uh, through google meet or uh, some other direct classes or if not possible again i'll post in this uh, moodle only so okay so first of all we'll see what is factory so any premises where 10 or more workers are working and a manufacturing process is carried out means that is with aid of power okay so if manufacturing is without aid of power means it will be coming under a section 2 of m so previously it was there without aid of power and all it was there but now that percentage has come less than 2 percentage okay without aid of power and all so all the uh, manufacturing sectors now they are using only power power means electricity so any premises where ten or more workers are working for a manufacturing process is carried out with the help of power so that is uh, uh, if if it is uh, without power means minimum there should be uh, 10 or more workers without power means this is what the factory sack simple uh, logic they have given uh, meaning actually and uh, so manufacturing process means so semi finished products to finish products or uh, process of altering repairing ornamenting finishing everything will be coming packing oiling cleaning breaking up demolishing car demolishing washing or otherwise treating or adopting any article of substance even it will be included uh, what we are putting no uh, pumping oil water sewage or any other substance so now there are lots of uh, uh, process is being carried out nowadays so even composing typing printing for everything it will be included in the manufacturing process even preserving articles in cold storage so previously it was not there so only they were included in section 2 of k so all this uh, if any one thing if it is being carried out means that and all it will be covered under manufacturing process so you cannot tell uh, i am not doing uh, anything i am just only oil packaging is done no even that also it is coming under factory act so washing so nowadays washing has becoming a very big business in urban area and all so if you go to hospitals then if you go to uh, i don't know how many of them i have seen one program in discovery channel so where they were talking about uh, railways and that to about ac coaches so removing of uh, that pillow cover and uh, beds bed sheets everything every day they give it to the customers who are traveling in that uh, ac coach and uh, they will be removing it as soon as the train stops at one particular uh, halt okay it is not i should not tell it at particular place when it is coming to halt it will be removed and uh, it will be going for washing so that industry they were talking in that program so how including ironing nowadays machines are there so that much uh, so even that one is also we can tell about processing is being is being taken place so then uh, a person who is a worker any person employed in any manufacturing process or cleaning or any work incidental to manufacturing process even it is included the persons who are employed through contractor that is section 2 of i okay 
So even if he is employed through the contractor means he is also called as a worker only. So if any manufacturing process is going is taking place, if any person is appointed means he will be classified as a worker. And next one we will be talking about occupier. So he will be having the, the occupier will be having the ultimate control over the affairs of the company. Okay, it might be include, it includes even in the partner form also and director in case of company. And in case of uh, government company means separately, occupier need not be a director. So like that and all, it, they are the, the person who is in charge for running that particular company. So in the case person appointed to manage affairs of the factory means he shall be the occupier. Okay, so who is the occupier you should actually inform to the one particular inspector will be there so factories inspector so he is the person in charge for this particular company like that you should inform to the factories inspector and he will be the occupier will be fully responsible if provisions of factories act are not complied with so if any problems in the health and safety or factory side generally so he is the, the occupier is the full responsible if they are not fulfilling any conditions according to factory act. so they will be given notice 15 days before he begins to occupy the premises as a factory and they will be giving details as prescribed in section 7 so what are all the things to be followed they will be giving so whenever uh, uh, any person is going to be appointed no? so he has to be given notice 15 days before he begins to occupy the premises before uh, 15 days itself we should give to the inspector this person is going to take in charge of the company as an occupier and they they should also give the details according to the section 7 which has been mentioned in the factories act and what are all the duties of the occupier no? so mostly that is only we will be covering now they will be taking care of health safety and welfare of workers while they are working in the company sorry factory so that is actually we will be talking in section a 7a sorry okay so this is the duties they will be taking care of the health safety and welfare of the workers today we will be seeing in this session, we will be talking about only health related uh, health related factories act in this particular video session. Okay, next class, we will be talking about the other thing, safety and welfare of workers. So, in India, actually, we are having these conditions, actually, it was there. So, a women worker should not be employed between, uh, beyond the hours between 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. within the hours uh, a women employee should be working if any uh, women employee is working after 7 o'clock means they should get exemption to any factories or group or class of factories so but actually even then uh, no women can be permitted uh, to work during 10 to 5 10 p.m. to 5 a.m. So and also shift change can only be once in a week. So can one be only after week. So you should not change per shift should not be done every three days and all. So it should be carried out only if you are giving for this particular week first shift. No. So this week fully that particular women will be coming only for first shift and next week they'll be going for second shift like that per week only you should change the shift so and uh, other holiday and uh, they are not in between so it and all these things and all it will be mentioned in section 66 of factories act okay and uh, i will tell actually now uh, uh, they have done some amendments in this depending upon the uh, working uh, style of the organization somebody else might be asking uh, uh, women employees working in night shifts in ITEA sector that is for that is what actually they were they have done some amendments for particular 
working uh, areas. So for that thing, government has given exemptions that these women so all can work even after ten. So but they should give, they should get exemption from the government that we are uh, working in IT sector, and now even few production oriented companies are appointing uh, uh, women employees in night shifts also. Okay, but you should get exemption from the government. And normally, the record of the worker, uh, a register will be maintained, and uh, no workers will be permitted to work unless his name is in the register. So these are all the conditions actually. And uh, OT, so record of overtime is also required to be maintained according to Section 62. So because uh, we will be talking a person should be working only for 48 hours per week so normally per day it will be coming only for eight hours so if anybody else is if any worker is working above eight hours means but all it will be coming in the OT that is overtime so for that they'll be paying extra and they earned leave to the worker so if anybody else is completing depending upon the norms of the company so a worker is entitled in every calendar year annually with wages at the rate of one day for every 20 days of work performed in the previous calendar year provided that he had worked for 240 days. So what is it I am coming we are coming to tell here is if the worker has worked say for example now this year 21 2021 so in 2020 he has worked for 240 days and he he can he he can avail the facility of uh, EL earned leave he can get for 20 days okay so he can get 20 days earned leave and he can use it we will be telling as EL actually so in government and all if you are surrendering the EL you will be you can get encashed it will be encashed okay and <clears throat> Normally, everybody knows child worker should not be entertained uh, for the particular task, any manufacturing task, work in manufacturing workplace and all. No child worker will be entertained. And uh, <clears throat> and uh, maternity leave up to 12 weeks. That is actually here we are talking about uh, three months, but now government has extended up to even eight months, okay, to taking to take care of the child after giving birth, okay, and uh, layoff layoff days will be considered. Everything uh, they'll be talking about in this factories act and leave. That is what we know. So you can accumulate up to thirty days in case of adult and 40 days in case of child. So these are all the things it will be mentioned in the Factories Act. And the wage dot wage for that particular period, no, it will be paid before the leave begins. And uh, the leave is four or more days means. So leave cannot, according to section 81, and leave cannot be taken for more than three times in a year. These are all the conditions actually. And uh, so these conditions and all you will be knowing before the age be, below the age of 14 no employ no person should be appointed in the workplace this is according to section 67 and the child above 14 but below 15 years of age can be so four and a half hours he can work per day during or during the night this is according to section 71 and if you want to work means you should be certified by a surgeon that is really fit to work in the uh, work areas manufacturing sectors and uh, he cannot be employed between 10 pm to 6 am and uh, a person over the age of 15 but below 18 years of age is termed as adolescent and he can be employed as an adolescent adult in case of he is providing a certificate of fitness for a full day work from certifying a surgeon okay from the age group of 15 to 18 i'm telling and so what are all the conditions in the factories act no it should be displayed both in english and the local language 
and the name and address of the factories inspector for each and every district uh, factories of inspector will be there and the certifying surgeon also they should be displayed in the notice board these are all it will be mentioned in the section 108 of 1 okay and the notice of accidents if any accidents has been happened causing disablement for more than 48 hours no and dangerous occurrences and any worker uh, contracting occupational disease should be informed just to, to the in factories inspector and uh, what is the reason for uh, dangerous occurrences should be specified in that and uh, first thing in factory side everybody will be talking about health provisions only so we will be talking here in chapter 3 of factory sack it will be containing the health related topics okay that is what we will be discussing here in this we will be talking about uh, section 11 the working conditions should be clean and safe the floor should be cleaned at least once a week and they should whitewash for every with, uh, 14 weeks once they should whitewash where uh, the work area is being carried out and you should paint or varnish every five years okay and you should have cleaning daily sweeping should be there and register of coloring must be maintained so there will be some colors specified in the factories only that colors you should uh, paint in the work area you should not paint some unwanted dark colors or something and all you should not give any painting like that so there are some provisions mentioned in the factory sack that this registering of color should be maintained in the uh, work area and the main thing apart this is the main task for the uh, factories disposal of waste and affluence so there should be proper arrangements or disposal of wastes and effluents according to section 12 so disposal of wastage factories they should give lots of importance to this point and they should always follow the state government rules whatever it is being mentioned for disposal of wastage and uh, there should be proper ventilation and temperature for the workers so it only now most of the companies previously and all they were in the wall there will be some exhaust fans but now latest technique is there in the roof itself they are putting the exhaust Take exhaust fan technique and all you can see any company if the if any production process is being taken place no you can see at the top one uh, it will be like a fan it will be keep on rotating what is that means it is an exhaust fan technique and uh, you should make provisions for reducing excess heat that is what here we'll be talking about uh, putting uh, ventilation sorry exhaust fans and you should maintain proper humidity in the workplace so you should not uh, mainly you should concentrate on uh, measures to take on uh, minimize the dust because it will be affecting the health of the work this will be talking about in the uh, section 14 of factories act okay so they should keep on minimize the dust so it only every some few companies they'll keep on cleaning every two hours or every three hours they'll be to avoid the dust mainly and then uh, artificial humidification so when mostly i mentioned here in textile units so inhaling will be a big problem for the workers because uh, manufacturing process that move from the process now now you are having very good clothes if you go and see in the work area, no, these textile industries, people cannot work there for more than six hours or seven hours. So how you are going to handle that uh, humidification? So for that and all, what measures that particular company is going to give importance? So once uh, I have visited, uh, I don't want to mention the name here, 
of the company when we visited one chemical factory near uh, uh, in old mahabalipuram road that is near mahabalipuram um, when we visited that particular company you know, three students could not enter the premises of, of the factory itself because that much smell came so they were uh, they got afraid so they were in the bus itself and the remaining students only went inside so out of 53 no so three students uh, were behind and two students with the strength of 50 when we entered two students came back after 10 minutes they could not stand there so that much uh, problem they will be facing chemical factory actually it is so that and all mostly in textile industries it will be happening and you should try to avoid uh, overcrowding so even uh, uh, now at present situation government has told that uh, overcrowding should not be there because of the corona issues recently so in workplace already it is being mentioned according to section 16 no so they should be allocating 14.2 cubic space per worker so 14.2 area so while calculating this space about the worker beyond 4.2 meters will not be taken into account so near minimum 4.2 meters per in uh, feet okay this cubic space per worker should be allocated to avoid the overcrowding in the workplace so because it will be a big issue if there is any accidents and all for that only they are telling about overcrowding should not be there lighting should be there for each and every missionaries and uh, work areas the adequate lighting and sufficient adequate and sufficient lighting should be there and there should be natural lighting so i have i have visited one company talking about green 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 hr green manufacturing whatever it is i have visited one company in near perugudi so when you go inside no manufacturing is being carried out through natural sunlight only so top no it is not they are not having ceiling so direct sunlight is falling inside the company itself but uh, glass like material is being fixed on the uh, like ceiling they are fixing so if possible you go and visit so i'll tell what is the name of the company later okay and the drinking water should be uh, in a neat it should be Uh, in a consumable manner and it should be kept in convenient location and they should be at least 6 meters away from the washroom or the restroom and uh, if uh, more than 250 workers are working means they should have cool fa- cooler facility also they should have they should create so these are all the points it will be talking in section 18 that the drinking water should be kept Uh, at the convenient locations then talking about uh, restrooms there should be proper this uh, this one will be talking about in the section 19 there should be separate for uh, uh, restrooms for male and female workers and that also there should be properly clean proper cleaning should be done uh, every time so uh, when you go for uh, any companies no the top companies every two hours once they will be keep on cleaning the restrooms why because workers should not be getting any infection so not only main thing so you when you go there and when you see somewhere uh, the restrooms are not good no at that time you may be feeling how much importance should be given to this uh, restrooms or not and then spittoons Uh, where the sufficient number of spittoons should be kept in the workplace somewhere in the corners okay so workers will not be spit wherever uh, he wants so there will be separate place and there will be separate uh, there are some provisions nowadays so spittoons should be there in that at least in the workplace some four or five places they can keep the spittoons and uh, with this we will be uh, completing the 
health related topic in factories act so in the next class we'll be talking about safety and welfare measures for the workers any doubt please message me students they and so we are posting myself and dr satyamurthy sir are posting some videos till now nobody is asking any doubts from the videos so please ask any doubts thank you students